This is video two of the ERP SIM production process. This will cover MRP to PO tracking. Do you realize that this is following the textbook? So the ERP SIM SAP Labs and Textbook third edition. It does presume you have some SAP experience and it might just be SAP Labs one through three. It might be a manufacturing game or two. Just realize that if you don't have SAP experience, you shouldn't be watching this video. These videos, this is video two of four. They are meant to be watched in order. If you have not watched video one, go back and watch that now. This video is more functional in nature and there is a strategy as part of the production process, but note that I'm not going to go over any type of strategy within this, just realize there is. This is also using the SAP GUI without all of the Fiori enhancements. This is kind of like you're using the SAP GUI in the ECC version of SAP. So this is going to cover MRP to PO tracking, the purchase order tracking. Now realize this is strategic in nature. And when I have students who say things like, we don't know what we're doing wrong. We don't know why we have low profit or our company valuation is low. The first thing I ask, and this is covered in video one, is let's check your sales forecast. The second thing I ask is, let's see how often you're running MRP. So this is another strategic piece of running the manufacturing game. Now realize this video is functional in nature, but the decisions that you're using, the how often you run MRP, all of this is strategic in nature. Why is the production process strategic? Well, expenses build up within the manufacturing game and in real life organizations. And the only way to have profit is through revenue. Revenue, because you start with no inventory, comes from production. So a poor production strategy equals low revenue or low profit. MRP itself is something that is used nearly every ERP system has a, an MRP module. And what this does is material requirements planning. And what it plans is two different things, the procurement of raw materials and the production of finished goods. So MRP actually calculates how much to order. So based on your sales forecast from video one, the sales forecast for finished goods, it looks at the bill of materials for your finished goods, your current inventory for finished goods, and the finished goods in process, those things waiting to be manufactured. It also looks at your current raw material inventory, and then it determines how much do you need to meet your sales forecast. It gets complicated. Make sure you read through the textbook for more information about MRP. Just realize that MRP calculates how much kind of stuff, so raw materials required, how much of that you need, and then it also plans for how much you need for finished goods. So again, it's just a plan, MRP. The P stands for planning. If you execute MRP over and over and over and over and over, all that happens each time is a new plan is generated. Nothing actually happens as far as orders or production orders. So again, MRP plans two different things. The procurement plan, which is, it plans essentially your purchase orders, a planned purchase order. So it's called a purchase requisition or a PR. So a PR is a planned purchase order and a purchase order is an order with a vendor. MRP also plans at the same time, a production plan. And these are planned production orders or PLDORD, PLDORD. The PLDORD is a planned production order an internal order. So once we have the raw materials required, we're going to make finished goods. But remember, it's just a plan. MRP, the P is planning. So realize that this is just button pushing that we're doing here. There is a job aid. Don't feel like you need to memorize everything that's happening. The ERP SIM manufacturing game job aid covers the entire production process. It kind of assumes you know what you're doing and it's giving you a reminder. The job aid also gives you the parameters and details and everything really ends up being on the job aid. We have the SAP GUI and we have the job aid here. And where I'm going to start is actually in the bill of materials. And I'm going to show you what Come on. All right, so the bill of materials, and what this is, is kind of a recipe for one finished good. So I'm doing the 500 gram nut and muesli. 
And what it's saying is that every finished good requires one small bag, one small box, 0.175 kilograms of oats, 0.175 kilograms of wheat, and 0.15 kilograms of nuts. This equals 500 grams, half a kilogram, one box, one bag. The way that MRP works is it's looking at this, and then it's looking at your sales forecast from video one, and determining how many raw materials you need, and then how many finished goods need to be actually manufactured. So this is the first thing. You have the sales forecast and you have the bill of materials. Those two come together within MRP for that calculation. So MRP here, MD01, pull out, MD01, and this one I love, enter, enter, enter. Literally there's nothing to change. All of these parameters here are all you need, so enter, 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 there's another enter. <laughs> Surely. Running through, it's doing all the calculations. And there we go. It has planned six production orders. There are eight purchase requisitions. So that is what we have. Now remember, all we have is plan. In order to do the first part of this, we need to turn that plan into actual orders. So this is the next step within the procurement side of MRP. So it's the automatic generation of POs. Check ME59N. It says click execute. So what this does is it takes all the purchase requisitions, all of those purchase requisitions that MRP calculated, and turns them into two different purchase orders. There we go, we have things ordered. And that's all it takes to go through. Now one thing to note here, within the extended manufacturing game, we have vendor lead time. For our suppliers, it's somewhere between one and five days. So realize we have to wait for those raw materials to actually turn it into something for manufacture. How do we know when those raw materials come? In? That is coming from PO tracking. So this purchase order tracking report, DME2N, back here, DME2N, and this is showing me that I have some large boxes and bags, some small boxes and bags, nuts, strawberry, wheat, and oats. This is everything that I just ordered. So MRP calculated, and then I placed the order with my vendors, V02 and V01, using ME599. So this is what I'm looking for here, and it's showing right now, unconfirmed and not scheduled. So all of this is in the system, and we are waiting. This is part of that lead time. We and it's right now unconfirmed and not scheduled because the simulation hasn't started. I'm going to do start the simulation. There we go. I'm showing expected for these raw materials and that they're going to be due on round one day two. And I have my simulation running very fast, so it should pop up pretty quickly around one day two. And this is exactly what I'm looking for. So I can see that right now all of these materials have been delivered because it is round one day two, which means I am ready for the next step within the production process.